Divers were out in Puget Sound waters today to see if they can help solve a mystery. Scientists are trying to figure out what's causing one species of starfish to die in this area and in the waters off Canada. King 5's Amy Marino has more on their search for answers. We're going to both look for healthy and potentially diseased sea stars. Divers from the Seattle Aquarium are on the hunt. We've got some sea stars that look like they're melting on the bottom. The same thing is happening in the waters near Canada, and they want to know why. The cause could be environmental or perhaps driven by disease. So we often think viral when we think of sea star disease, but at this time we don't have a good idea of what's causing this, so we're going to look for everything. Just a few weeks ago, the populations in Puget Sound waters looked healthy. Today, as they resurface, we find out the news is not good. There are a lot of milk and sea stars out there. They estimate close to half appear to be sick or dying. There would be a, a, an apparently healthy animal in really close proximity to a sick animal. No, yeah. no concentration of sick ones and concentration of good ones. The picture becomes more serious when the bags are opened inside the lab. This animal is a classic appearance of the melting sea star. The samples will go to Cornell University and another lab in New York where samples from Canada are already being analyzed. It's concerning. It's concerning and it's concerning to hear that in a short time period of under a week, we're seeing roughly 60% of this species um, diseased in this area. So far, it's only impacting the sunflower species of sea star. But biologists say it's a delicate balance in these waters, and when one species is hurting, it threatens to impact the entire ecosystem. Amy Marino, King 5 News. So far, the diseased starfish have not been reported in other parts of Puget Sound, but the aquarium is asking divers to take photos and give them a call if they spot.